everyone. I wanted to speak about um, Alzheimer's again today. So um, this is part two of the last video um, I did. And this was a request. So um, somebody wanted me to ask the angels about Alzheimer's and um, to see what came up. I would also like to encourage um, anyone who's watching this video, if you have a request that you'd like me to ask the angels, then please uh, email it to me at naomisolomon7 at gmail.com, N-A-O-M-I-S-O-L-O-M-O-N-S-7 at gmail.com. Or you could leave a comment under the YouTube, but unless... I'm not, I don't really read comments because sometimes people can leave a lot of negative things too. So I just kind of filter that out. And um, so the best way to um, get hold of me is just to send me an email if you have any requests. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths and send to myself. Um, And this is what I do also privately. I um, take a couple of deep breaths before I ask the angels for guidance and help. And um, so I'm going to just begin now. The angels wanted me to speak about how it's very, it's very difficult for um, for people to get older and to age, and it's. You can imagine it's it's even harder when one ages and one isn't well. You have pains or you have Alzheimer's and then you're at the mercy of whoever will take care of you and how well they'll take care of you. And this is also the same for children and, and animals. It's a you know not to group children, animals and, and elderly together, but it's a very vulnerable group and all three are truly at the mercy of how we will treat we will treat them and what's interesting about this is that there is no um there's no way and this it sounds really harsh but there's no way to to get away with any of our actions, anything that we do that's good or anything that we do that's negative, it, it always does come back to us. And not necessarily, you know, exactly after we've done the good deed or the negative deed, but it does come down, come back to us down the line. And so it's very important, you know, when we're dealing with um, vulnerable people, how, how we treat them, not just because we don't want it to happen to us, but sometimes you know people just begin there because the rest is is too kind of difficult so we so we start at the point of if we don't want to be vulnerable ourselves and we don't want to experience loneliness and pain ourselves then it's very important how we karmically treat the vulnerable people in society if we um treat elderly and people who need our help with a lot of disrespect and disregard you can be sure that that's how you will be treated when you are old and fragile and this is not to lose any um, viewers but we don't think about that when we're healthy and we're strong and we have our youth we don't think about how our actions are impacting on you know the vulnerable children animals the elderly and if you want to ensure that you have a good um, old age where you are an old person and you're treated with kindness and you're treated with respect and you have security, then it's very important that you treat people that are elderly, that are, are in need and need your help, that you help them, that you help them to feel more secure and to feel safe if you can and you treat them with respect and love and kindness and then that's what you'll receive um, it, when, you, when you're in your old age. 
and this brings me to um alzheimer's think about how truly vulnerable a person is if they lose their lose their complete mind that they can't remember who they are or who, who you are you are and just to think how scary that must be for a moment and then also to realize that we have such an obligation and 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 a responsibility to treat somebody that we know that is experiencing alzheimer's with dignity with respect with care sometimes people don't even see old people anymore they become invisible or if they sick they become a burden and you know if you are in a position where you're now caring for somebody it, this becomes so critical about kind of who did we choose to marry when we were young and beautiful and will they take care of us you know um when we're old and gray and sick and and this does happen and i've seen it where you know it's hard to be a carer and the carer doesn't always after time take care of their loved ones properly anymore because they're they're exhausted and they're burnt out and they're grumpy and they feel that the person they married is not there anymore which isn't true the, that soul is can still hear you can still see you is still there you know it, it, alzheimer's and dementia is almost like an extreme version of enlightenment um of relinquishing everything that you built and created because alter, all of life is is really self-sacrificial and a surrender at the end of the day we give everything back and everything we accumulated everything we strived hard to do and enlightenment and spirituality is about dropping the ego and and allowing the soul this like pure flower to just flourish and this flower is not an academic and this flower is not a healer and this flower is not a giver or a taker this flower is just pure consciousness manifested and just being in its in its beauty and its beauty is 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 its gift and what heals so this is like us we don't need to be anything we just need to be like the flower in terms of just who we are if we're just naturally who we are we will flower we will bring beauty to everyone around us and we will naturally a fla each flower a rose or a daisy knows inside what it's going to grow to be you know it has this its own um seed of knowledge that it develops into this flower and the, the rose behind me develops into the rose and we're all flowers in the garden of humanity we all have our own programmed um essence seed of what we're going to deliver into this world but because we get busy and distracted with so many different things and we don't live in our natural environments and we don't commune with nature and we don't eat healthy we lose what we're supposed to be doing that innate we've gotten lost and this is true with alzheimer's is that it's a complete surrendering of the ego it's only that that which which it attached to who it thought it was who that that is not who we are so alzheimer's and dementia in a sense and this is quite a radical view from the angels but in a sense is an extreme version of enlightenment that person is just being they're just being their soul and they're not attached to their old identity of who they were and yes i understand it's incredibly painful for the people around them but what the angels are saying is the person that you love is still there they're just devoid of the attachments to who they thought they were and attached to all the people around them so you have to learn new ways of loving that person and what i've found with personal experience i i have a very um close family member that has alzheimer's and i don't experience the difficulty with them that other people do other people feel quite frustrated that they can't remember dates and places and people who have died and all these sorts of things but when me and her are together we it never comes up because i don't bring up the past and i i don't talk about those things we just 
go for walks together and we gossip about things and we have lunch together so memory and attachment doesn't really come into it and yes maybe she isn't at the extreme extreme version that she doesn't remember who i am those you know so i always reintroduce myself when we have um when we're spending time together we're going out for lunch together or we're going to the seaside but our time that's spent together we we go for walks and we look at horses and we feed the ponies and we go down to the seaside and we collect shells and rocks and we talk about God and, and we talk about all the beautiful things around and we pray together. And I never, I never get stuck in thinking, oh, I've lost somebody or that was difficult or anything like that because we meet each other as soul to soul. We, I don't go back into the past. I don't think about, challenge her with things that she needs to remember. I just meet her as she is, as her soul, and that soul and me play together. And so this is about re-establishing your relationship with the person in your life that has Alzheimer's and just to see that the person you love is still there. And it's almost like every day you need to win them over and just be good to them and be kind to them and engage in activities that you both enjoy. Don't go back to the past and try to help her, him or her remember memories, but just meet them and greet them where they are at at this point in time and do things together that you both enjoy. Even if, if it's at a point that it can be out or if it's too dangerous, then at home, you know, play games together, watch movies. And you will find that if you look at them in a different way, instead of trying to hold on to them the way they were look to see who they are now that beautiful soul just look for that beingness the natural beingness of the flower devoid of the attachments and always remember that it's so important to treat vulnerable people and the elderly with respect treat really it's said so much but treat others how you wish to be treated when you're older because that karma really is there and when we give love to others and we're of service to them we feel good inside so um if there's anybody that is not well around you be good to them be kind to them remind them maybe of all the good things that they've done in their life and help to water the positive seeds inside themselves and so that they can bloom and grow into a beautiful flower Lots of love.